If you look south from the northwest corner of 42nd Street and 5th Avenue in Manhattan, you'll see the magnificent headquarters of the New York Public Library with its iconic stone lions and historic neoclassical facade. Look behind you, though, and you'll see something maybe even more interesting, the site of the building that provoked one of the most famous disputes in American business law. In 1902, Walter J. Salmon agreed to lease a property that was then called the Hotel Bristol. The lease was to last for 20 years, and Salmon hoped to profit by converting the building from a hotel into shops and offices. Salmon didn't have the $200,000 he needed to complete the renovation, so he turned to a man named Morton H. Meinhard. Meinhard agreed to provide the money in exchange for a share of the profits. Meinhard was to receive 40% of the profits for the first five years of the lease and then 50% for the remaining 15. The rest of the profits would go to Salmon. Salmon agreed to provide all of the labor needed to operate the building and kept for himself all the legal authority to manage it. As a result of this agreement, Meinhard and Salmon became what Judge Cardozo colorfully called co-adventurers. To put it more simply, they were general partners. When the 20-year term came due and the lease was about to expire, the landlord approached Salmon about the possibility of renewal. The landlord now owned several other buildings next door to the Hotel Bristol, and he planned to demolish them all and replace them with a much larger building. Salmon formed a new corporation through which he agreed to lease this new building for a term of up to 80 years. Salmon never told Meinhard about the deal. When Meinhard eventually found out, he sued, demanding 50% of the profits from the new lease. Meinhard argued that Salmon had breached his fiduciary duty of loyalty by keeping the new lease for himself. The trial court ruled for Meinhard, but limited Meinhard's interest to 25% of the profits on the new lease. The appellate division upheld the judgment and increased Meinhard's interest to 50%. Salmon then appealed to the New York Court of Appeals.